it was an important progression for us to take the step to become challenger record for Team New Zealand. And it was part of also the journey for Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos. This was their first experience in the Cup, understanding that by being challenger record, you then have that ability to work with the defender to set the framework of, of the rules, if you like, the protocol of the event. In doing so, create a competition that I think as a backer of a team and someone who shares that love now with the America's Cup, that opportunity to develop it more so for the long term. We had a pretty strong relationship with Mercedes through, through the last campaign, so it was kind of a natural progression in many ways to build on, on that into AC37, but we've certainly formalised it more and the resource that we're drawing on is much greater than what it was in the last campaign. And you now see some of the key Mercedes technical personnel in key roles in, in Ineos Britannia. So it's a much more intense, focused partnership than it was last time around, but it feels like a natural fit. There's been a good response uh, to the entries for, for this AC37. Of course, we, we always want more teams. It would be great to see at least six teams. There's a good chance of that. Red Bull coming in on board with Alinghi, Alinghi having won the cup twice, and that Mercedes Red Bull fight that's now transformed itself from not only Formula One into America's Cup. I think it's going to be a strong story for everybody to follow. A strong turnout already, and we hope to see more. It's been a really busy period for the team. Things didn't really stop on the back of AC36 in New Zealand with negotiating the protocol with, with the Kiwis and then developing the team on the back of, of that cup and the partnership with Mercedes Formula One. So huge effort from everyone involved. I think we've achieved a lot. Clearly we've still got a long way to go.